on a solo mission today, going out for salmon. Uh, I'm gonna try to do two things, catch one on bait, one on a spoon, and I'm also gonna show you a technique where you can get rid of rigor mortis 100% of the time for any fish that you catch. Let's catch some fish. And do this step by step, show you how we're going, how it's going down today. Just looking for any kind of sign of life. Whales, birds, seals. About 20 miles out right now. Not really any boats around me. So I gotta find these fish on, on my own. I just heard on the radio that someone hooked up at 1946 and that is about a mile away from where I'm at. So that's where I'm headed. And uh, man, I had a little scare just now because the motor wouldn't start. I was trying to turn it on like this. You don't want to hear that alarm when you're out here. And then I realized I had my kill cord on and then I went to the back to untangle something and this came off. So that gave me a good little scare because there's nobody out here right now. Oh, that's so comforting. All right, a uh, mile away, let's go get some salmon. Well, ah, let's clear up the deck a little bit. Uh, got some fish coming in around here. Seems like a decent bite. One guy has two fish already. So uh, let's get the downriggers up. Let's put the gaffs up here so we don't gaff ourselves later. And I'm going to be sitting here controlling the boat, of course. So I want the downrigger right there so I have a clear view of it. If it was over here, I'd have to keep looking back. That was from a tip in the comments. Thank you very much. Applying what I'm learning. Now, let us get a downrigger up. Last time I was out here, this downrigger stopped working, but it was just because the fuse blew. So I replaced the 15 amp fuse with the 30 amp fuse, which I think is what the downrigger is rated for. We are gonna use this rod right here, and we're gonna throw on a pyramid flasher. Pyramid flasher to the main line. And then, where's my leader? About a five foot leader to the bottom of the pyramid flasher. And the flasher is supposed to attract the fish. I've never really used flashers, but uh, Chris P. Fish posted a video, an underwater video, where the salmon came up to the flasher first and then attacked his bait, which just tipped, it, tipped the scale for me because that salmon was attracted to the flasher. It did its job, it got him in, and then it bit the bait. So there we go. There's a flasher, about a five foot leader to a little clip. This is 30 pound fluoro. Now I gotta tie up a couple of cable baiters and we'll start trolling. All right, there we have it. One cable baiter ready to go with a slight bend on it. These are available at fishermanslife.net if you wanna use them for salmon fishing. Now I'll get this downrigger weight out uh, and start trolling, man. Moving forward, see how the spin is on this bait. Then line out, I got a long top shot. I bring it out just to the end of the top shot. Hook her up right to the 40 pound top shot. Don't have to wrap it around at all. Throw her out there. And let's drop her down to 55 first. All right, 55 feet deep. Right there, tighten her up. But we're trolling, baby. We are fishing. Now I'll clear up the deck right now. Actually, I'm gonna get my net ready so I don't have to struggle with that since I am alone. Let's clear up these tackle boxes. When you're using these cable baiters, one little trick, take your pliers and pinch down that end. That way it'll go through the it'll go through the bait a lot easier. Right, we got two two baits ready to go. That's how the bend looks. Rubber bands keeping the gills closed. And that should that might be all I need for a limit if I get lucky. Been about 15 minutes gonna check this bait and if you haven't heard in my last one of my last videos i'm gonna have the street fair fisherman's life street fair again on august 6th 2022 it's gonna be all day in san francisco we rented out the whole block so august 6th 2022 from 10 to 5. see you the guys there let's change this bait oh yeah 
Oh, this I feel confident about this one. This one, yeah, I'm gonna get bit on this one, I'm pretty sure. It looks great, the spin is perfect. Oh, fish on. Fish on, fish on. Feels like a good one. Slow down, troll this way, mark the spot, boom. All right. Back off on the drag just a little bit. Fish on, baby. I knew if we could get this bait in front of a fish, we would get one. And we did. Not yet, but almost. Definitely a keeper. 10 pounder, I hope. Yeah, oh, he, he. Oh, let me take off this. Sorry for your ears. I always forget to take off the clicker. All right, but here he comes. I got leader. I got, I'm on my top shot right now. Just making a big circle. That's a decent fish. Decent fish. Who's staying right by the motor? This guy. That's a decent one. Not crazy big, but good enough to keep. I think so. Get the net ready. All right, here we go. Oh, it's not even that big. I might even release this one. Come on over here, little buddy. Right, he's in. Ready? Here we go. Oh, right under the boat. Come on up here, little guy. Little guy. Oh, that's a decent fish. That's a decent one. On the cable baiter. That's good enough to keep. Yeah. That'll do. That's a fatty. That's a good fish. Not like... PB monster status, but hey, that's a good one. Take that for sure. His heart is definitely still beating, so we'll cut it right at this main artery. Come back. One fish. Change out the cable baiter. Woo! Heck yeah, man. Put on another one. Now we're ready to fish again. Let's see how this one spins. Always gotta make sure that spin is nice. All right, now it's time to show you this little trick. It, you already know it, probably. I've talked about this before. It's the EK Jime. I don't know, is that the way you pronounce it? I just call it Icky Jimmy. Like uh, this guy, you know, Jimmy's kind of icky, but you gotta take this thick, kind of a stiff wire. This is quarter pound .032 safety wire. I make the cable baiters out of this too, actually. And what we're gonna do, just watch here, here we go. We can do it from the top or we can do it from the bottom. I'll, I'll just do it from the top here so you can see. I'll cut way right up here by the meat. Don't wanna waste any meat, but boom. Just severed its spine. And now, you can see it's spinal cord, okay? Spinal cord is right there, but that's not where you want to put the wire. You want to put the wire right above. When I push this wire through the fish, you should see it start convulsing. So it's not through the spine right in the middle, it's right on top of it. See that? Look at that, see? So this is severing, messing up the, um, I don't even know what it is. It's the nerves or something, but look, I put it in and it starts shivering like that. And this is going to completely eliminate rigor mortis down that hole. And just see how it wiggles like that. And as you go deeper and deeper, you're just, uh, I don't know what the whole um, mechanism is, but you're, you're messing up that spinal cord for sure. Yep, boom. There we go, there's the wire. We'll feed it right along there. Make sure we're not getting a bite. As far down as we can go.
Yep. So that's, yeah, we ran it down all the way, the length of the fish. Now we're gonna put it on ice. And at the end of the day, stay tuned because I'll show you uh, the other fish I catch. Hopefully I get another one. I'm not going to do this. And I'm gonna put it on ice. And this is just gonna prove that caught this one first. So this one should get rigor mortis before the next one. But this one with the head cut off, it'll still be flexible. Now, while I've got this, I'm just gonna cut him open and uh, gut him and bleed him and put him on the ice. Well, we're at 70 feet haven't had any bites for about 15 minutes so I'm gonna bring it back up a little bit to 60 let's see what happens a little bit higher see what happens here maybe that depth changes all we needed just like fishing in a river if you're not getting that bite you want to add that little split shot let it go down a little bit more maybe it's similar to here you know they're right there in that strike zone See that? I don't know. That's weird. This is a weird fish right now. It's pumping. It's pumping good, but it seems small. Yeah, brought it up to 60 and almost immediately got him. So I guess, you know, there's really something to say about that depth. What kind of fish is this? Oh, wow. Hey, can't tell. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't seem that small. I think that might be even bigger than the, 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 the first one. It's just not fighting for some reason. I'll net him. We'll finish, finish the day early. Oh, I don't want to get any slack on him. Oh, that's a decent fish. There he comes. Not a monster. Definitely not a monster. we got here. Is it a good one or not? Looks pretty good. Hard to tell though. Oh, it's like kind of mad but kind of not. I don't know. This fish is an interesting one. Looks big but he doesn't look big. I can't tell for sure. Keeps taking little runs. Huh. Come on over here. Come on little guy. What you doing huh? Maybe he's not as small as I thought he was. Taking drag now going in circles around him limits by nine can we get him in that's the question though definitely not a monster but it's a good fish come on up here into my oh that's a nice one dude that's a really nice one probably 10 pounder maybe a little bit more I'm not tightening the drag though just getting him up here getting him tired getting him up in to, oh, that is a nice one. Into the net you go. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. That's a really nice one. Heck yeah. Woo. Oh, that's a fatty, bro. Heck yeah. Look at that thing. Nice. Dude, this is a nice fish. Oh. What a beautiful fish. This is a nice one. Good belly on this one too. Black gums, king salmon. That's a good good nine pounder, maybe 10 pounder. But if you're a salmon fisherman, these cable baiters work really well. Haven't lost one on them yet. Probably just jinxed myself for next time. We're gonna gut him, bleed him, but we're not gonna do the icky jimmy. All right, let's see what's inside this one's stomach. All right, let's see what's in here. All right, beautiful, beautiful fish. 
to take out these gills. Put right underneath there to the front. Get down here. Gills out. All right, nothing in the stomach either. Absolutely nothing. Here's another question for you. Do you guys eat salmon liver? That's a nice salmon liver right there. Into the ice, he goes, she goes, looks like a she. Look at this on the floor. I just saw something moving. It's just the heart. <laughs> saw something moving down there. Just the heart. I haven't really eaten anything, so might as well eat this heart. I think I read somewhere that besides your daily value of protein and all that it's good to have um, vital organs also like liver and heart so when you think about it that way this doesn't taste bad at all mm, not bad if I wasn't making a video I would icky jimmy the other salmon because that one's so big and nice and if you do the icky jimmy the fish supposedly lasts a lot longer and that you can actually age it and it won't get rotten. Right now we're just gonna see the rigor mortis, so on my way back. All right, here's the fish. It may not be long enough for rigor mortis to set in. So we're gonna check it when we get home. We're back home. I have scaled the salmon and I just did that by running a hose backwards on the scales. They come off so easily. Now it's the test of the rigor mortis. Let's see if this worked. So this is the big one. Stuck in this position, which could just be the cold too, but ooh, this is gonna be good after I cook it. Here's the other one. Actually, this still does have, it is still stiff. Huh. So what's going on here? I thought after you do the icky jimmy, the one that you do that on is not supposed to stay stiff because it's supposed to uh, break all the spinal connections to the fish's muscles, something like that. What am I missing here? Does it really make the quality of the meat better? Anybody really experienced in this method? Icky, Icky, Icky Jimmy, Icky Jimmy, Icky Jimmy? I think I'm still gonna do it, it's so easy. And I think there's a benefit from it. Uh, once I figure out what it is for sure, then I'll let you know. All right, y'all, peace. Good salmon bite out there. Oh, remember, it's closed June 1st to June 22nd, 2022. This was filmed just a little bit before that. Peace.